All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post-fight discussion video. All right, y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in this video here. Jan Jaunheim versus Mackenzie Dern. Okay, y'all, so like I said, this fight, it was pretty much a 50-50 fight because both of these fighters had weaknesses that the other could expose, and they both had strengths that could get them through the, vic you know, that could expose the weakness, basically, right? That's, that's what it was with these two, you know. Jan definitely had the striking, the lateral movement. Mackenzie Dern definitely had the jujitsu. But it all came down to who was well prepared for this fight, who made the right adjustments in training camp, and, you know, just leading up to this fight in general, you know. And it turned out to be Jan Jana. You know, that's why I was thinking, man. I was like, you know, I'm going with Jan in this fight because I like the team she's linking up with now. You know, I'm definitely liking her. Uh, I, I like her direction and her improvements under uh, Uriah Faber right now. You know, I like even what I've been seeing, you know, behind the scenes and just how she's been talking. You know, I've been liking that. But then I was like, you know what? Dern got a lot of heart. But then I said, you know what? Don't, don't, don't switch up now. Don't switch up and pick Dern just because she got heart. Because heart can only get you so much, right? See, Yon got the heart and she's got the IQ in development, right? So I had to go back and stick with that. So, yeah. Yan Zhanan in this fight had to pick her for good reason because I thought, you know, she was going to go in there and, you know, control this fight on the feet, which she did. But she was going to have those moments on the ground that were kind of scary, but she she would survive, you know. And this fight, it turned out to be, you know, a decent competitive fight, but there's still a lack of something from both fighters, even the winner, as far as showing that elite status to get to the belt, which I'll talk about here at the end of the video here in a minute. But um, y'all know a lot of people thought, Mackenzie Dern, she could have won this fight. They said, oh, it could have been a draw. She did enough to get two 10-8 rounds. I went back and watched it. I don't know if these rounds were 10-8 because to me, when I think about it and, you know, when I'm back and watched it, 10-8 rounds, you got to go in there and really dominate. Like, you got to really go in there and dominate. But, you know, in, in this case, Dern, I don't think she was really, like, just pummeling or just putting Yan Jana in positions where she was completely helpless. Yan was protecting herself throughout these rounds you know she was protecting herself throughout these rounds on the ground you know she was never really like in in in, in said danger you know even when we were watching this last night on my uh, fight companion you know i mean going back and looking at the first round let's talk about the fight round one yon you know doing what she was doing striking clinic you know landing big right hands right away fighting off the side kick to the to the uh to the thigh and to the knee controlling Dern. you know Dern still doing those amateur things just rushing in not jabbing her way in, not fighting behind the jab and using her timing over the faster fighter. You know, she's just running in. And whenever she would clinch up with Jan, you know, Jan using that nice position and that wizard to uh, control Dern off the cage. You know, then she would go right back to the center and just control on the feet. You know, and like I said, her takedown defense, you know, was already showing improvement in the first round. Uh, second round, Jan, she opened up with some nice kicks, some nice right hands, you know, but then she kind of got into that mode of, uh, kind of uh panicking a little bit as Dern started to scoot towards her across the cage you know she was on her butt scooting towards her and I was like okay maybe Jan need to jump over her, but it was too late you know Jan let the leg got caught she got pulled to the ground I mean Jan she did land some nice strikes and she defended well on her on top you know and she did defend a triangle choke that's why I was like it can't be a 10-8 round you know Jan wasn't dominated enough you know she defended most of the round but Dern still won the round, but it just wasn't enough to say, oh, she completely controlled Jan. Because if you look back at the first two, three minutes, you know, Jan is still on top position. She was still fighting well and defending well here. She was never really in any, like, trouble. You know, she was putting that knee on the neck to a couple of times of uh, Mackenzie Dern. So it was a 10-9 round when it came down to it for uh, Dern. You know, she still had the better moments, but just not dominant moments, you know. So at this point, I had the fight tied. Third round. Back to Yan. You know, Yan, she starts using those side kicks to being effective. Not really using her lateral movement as much, and it started to cost her again. She got pulled to the ground by Mackenzie Dern. And that's what Mackenzie Dern's been doing lately. Like, she's been doing a lot of Jillian Robertson tactics and just pulling fighters down or pulling Yan down instead of, you know, trying to really work on her wrestling. Like, she's been working on this pull-down tactic and her striking too much. She really needs to work on that wrestling, though. But again, Yan, she escapes, goes back to the push kicks to the body, and they were nice because they were definitely landing and they were effective. And they opened up nice shots upstairs because as soon as y'all let that right left go, she cracked Dern with a nice left hook and buckled Dern. I was, oh man, I was 
on the edge of my seat because Dern was rocked and Jan just did not notice. It was just like she didn't see the invite. She just rocked there, then just went back to kind of following around. I was like, well, go after it. I was like, go after and get it. But she didn't jump on it. But uh, Dern, you know, she was just back in that mode of getting, you know, busted up again, like against Marina Rodriguez, you know, that lack of head movement and, you know, just 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 staying still. Uh, Yon Zana was just having an easy time with that. So that was another Yon round. So it was two to one at this point. Uh, fourth round, Yon, I thought she did well stopping takedowns, cracking Dern with right hands. Dern, she's just fighting behind Yon. You know, Yon sticking that jab out a few times and landing those push kicks, landing like a good spinning back elbow this round because Dern's just running in the shots. Yon's takedown defense just on point. Good defensive skills on the ground as well, you know, you know, defending a lot of those submission attempts. So that kind of had me questioning Dern's submission uh, skills as of lately. Like the way Dern was putting her in these uh, the way Yon was able to neutralize her, it kind of had me thinking, like, wow, like, has she has she kind of regressed on that as well? You know, I was thinking about that. So this point, three rounds to one. Last round, I mean, that was Dern's clear round, you know, just the straight pull down, take down again because she was going after it, looking for the finish. Uh, Dern completely controlled the round, I think, you know, but it still wasn't like vicious. Like it wasn't dominant. You can go back and looking at it. Like, it, it was dominant, but. There was some good ground and pound, but it wasn't like hard, dominant ground and pound that left Jan helpless. Like Jan was still shelling up in there, protecting herself and still always alert. Right. And I mean, I'd say the ground control time on the back was like over two minutes and there was a lot of ground strikes, but it was still Jan Jan on um, Jan Jan on was still always game in there you know because even at the end of the round she was able to break free and land some hard strikes she was still like alive like she just wasn't getting beat beaten up she was still always trying to defend herself or neutralize during so it was a 10-9 round it was a 10-9 round when you gotta look at these 10 10 8 rounds they got to be complete dominance they got to be complete across the board like going back to round two that that wasn't a 10 10 8 round that was 10 9 you can argue maybe the last round was 10-8, just a little bit. But once you go back and really look at it uh, minute after minute, to me, I still say it was a 10-9. So I gave the fight to Jan Jana. Not just because I picked her, but I thought Jan Jana looked like the clear winner and the the clearly better fighter in this one. You know, I thought she had did the more effective work, not just in little spurts here and there. Um, Mackenzie Dern, she just got a lot to work on, man. She still got a lot to work on and apply in a fight. You know, um, for somebody that wants fights to the ground, you know, you, wrestling should be her number one, like Carla. You know what I mean? Like Carla doesn't go in there thinking she's the best BJJ practitioner, but when she wants fights in close into the ground, she's wrestling the heck out of you. You know what I mean? Like that's the type of wrestling that Mackenzie Dern needs, you know, and that's going to be the lack of her progression if she don't perfect that, right? As for Yan Zana, she did what she needed to do. You know, she perfected her game. She's still working on it, of course. Um, still needs to use more lateral movement to get out of the way of danger. But I, I think she's coming together with what she wants. And I think we'll probably see her get a title shot before Dern, honestly. you know. And that's why I was saying, you know, um, Mackenzie Dern, I, I like the fact that she knew this wasn't going to lead to a title shot because let's say even if she did get the victory, let's say if this decision played out the same way but they chose to give it to Mackenzie Dern, I would be scared for it. You know, I would definitely be scared for her because she would really get knocked out in any of these other fights that she called out, like Rose and Jessica Andrade. She clearly get knocked out. I mean, that left hook that landed, if that was Rose, Rose would follow up quick. I mean, Rose would be landing with precision head kicks as well. You know what I mean? Like, Rose would done, you know, put her out of there. And then don't even talk about Andrade. I mean, Andrade, we know what Andrade would do, right? Andrade and Mackenzie Dern's lack of defense would just storm in just that just spells z z z z you know you, you know what i mean <laughs> you know it just spells z's all night right so yeah um good fight it was a good fight but like i said um as far as elite status shown yan is still working towards getting there to become championship contender material uh mckenzie still got to go back down i think she has to fight down from here because um yeah uh i i, I didn't see too many great improvements in this fight i think 
she had better striking moments in the Marine Rodriguez fight, actually. Even yeah, even in the Tisha fight, but like this fight here, I didn't see no wrestling improvements or anything like that. So hopefully she works on that though, you know. Hopefully, um, but yeah, uh, that's all I got on this, guys. What do y'all think in the comment section? Um, yeah, Yan, <clears throat> keep going in the direction she's going. Dern needs to really work on her wrestling and bite down on that one particular discipline to get these takedowns where she needs to get it because like I said it actually kind of made her jujitsu look a little bit more um like she's you know been regressing there so yeah um let me know what y'all think guys combo breaker 99 I'm out subscribe peace